T-Rex is sort of one of the great apex predators of history of Earth. How does an apex predator evolve? Like, what? Why did T-Rex win? Why? Why isn't everybody? Why isn't there like a vicious I, race I, to the top? I, and I, have a, I have a problem with the term apex predator because um, ecologically, apex predators are generally defined as things that eat other predators. So a great white shark is because it's eating stuff like tuna and sea lions, which are themselves predators. So it's a predator of predators. Whereas people people love saying lions are apex predators and they love saying T-Rex is an apex predator. They're, they're eating herbivores. This is not some this is not some weird and unusual thing. They're the largest predator in their ecosystem. Uh, and they are a giant one. Uh, my friend Dyron Nash has moved to using the word arch predator. So it's like some kind of massive thing but avoiding the term apex because i think that leads into a it it, it it's a subtle terminology thing but like, uh an important one i just learned something today so i didn't understand i thought i was i was using the the word apex predators but that's because everyone keeps using it when i don't think they should right. and, and now you're getting into linguistics and it's like well if everyone uses it to mean that does it now mean that rather than what it should mean and then i'm probably losing that argument because actually you'll probably find way more stuff calling it an apex predator than you will an arch predator but but here we are arch predator beautiful I, I learned something today it's, but that would that you're saying t-rex didn't eat other predators? Well, it's it's probably not going to. So we can get into, though I'd prefer not to because it's tedious, the argument of whether or not there's these small things which some people have said is a different group called Nanotyrannus or a different species called Nanotyrannus. But fundamentally, T-Rex is definitely weird, even compared to all the other giant tyrannosaurs that are very closely related to it, because it is by far, ludicrously by far, the largest carnivore in its ecosystem. So, so it doesn't really have competition, actually. I mean, so so this is a Velociraptor skull. Um, yeah. <laughs> there are there are there are some carnivores that are a bit bigger than this, yeah, but not enormously so. Um, which we're knocking around is T Rex. The the skull's the same time <laughs> tooth crown, right? But but like you think about that, yeah. and that's like going, go, that's like going to Africa and going, okay, there are lions. What's the next biggest predator? And it's like, well, there's a weasel about this big. Yeah. Like, it, it's that kind of size difference. And you don't get that normally in ecosystems. So it didn't have some of the other big dinosaurs around it? Not carnivores. There's huge herbivores. But there's no huge carnivores. Oh, I see. Around. It would it would eat those the juvenile of the herbivores. Oh yeah, but it's not... going to be eating Triceratops and Edmontosaurus and Parasaurolophus. There's even a couple of giant sauropods God. knocking around in some places. It's it's going to be hoovering them up. But like, how often is it going to eat? Again, Velociraptor isn't there. But how often is it going to eat something the size of an adult Velociraptor? Yeah. I mean, they're a fraction of our size, and we're probably too small. Th th this is like lions hunting mice. Like, you're just not going to. But unless one like virtually runs into your mouth, you're not gonna go and try and eat it. So the question still stands about arch uh, predators. Then, like, how does it? How how do you win? <laughs> yeah, in evolution? well, I mean, so I mean, the, there's there's no real winners. There's just you know turnover because ultimately the birds, you know, it it it's it's still lost out when when things went wrong. And as we were just talking about, you know, things do tend to lose out when they're big. They're just so much more vulnerable to extinction. Um, but clearly, dinosaurian ecosystems had much bigger herbivores and therefore, by extent, much bigger carnivores than any system we've seen before or after. Um, even in relatively sparse ones like Spits of the Late Triassic, so when the dinosaurs are really just getting going, or the very early Jurassic, but you've still got some like multi-ton herbivores and then you've got some multiple hundred kilo predators so about as big as elephants and lions get today and then once you're in the jurassic and cretaceous it is entirely normal to have multiple species that are 10 20 30 tons plus as herbivores and anything up to five tons as a carnivore i mean t-rex is probably the biggest of them but carnivores that exceed Ter fully terrestrial carnivores that exceed a ton. There's dozens of species of dinosaurs. Is it interesting to you that no other carnivore predator was able to develop in that environment over millions of years? I mean, they're probably just ecologically dominant in the way that mammals are now. You know, 
crocs get bigger than lions and tigers, but they're fundamentally tied to the water. But you don't see crocs roaming in the Serengeti or anything like that. Um, but yeah, big, I mean, the really big crocs even now get to over a ton. So those are very serious animals. And I think big polar bears are in the like 500 kilo range. Though again, they hunt a lot of stuff in water and then things like grizzlies are at least partially herbivorous or omnivorous. So there was a very large marine reptile, Mosasaurus. Did T-Rex ever come across that? In theory, at least, the really giant Mosasaurs are much bigger in the same way that, unsurprisingly, whales are much bigger than terrestrial carnivores now. Um, Jurassic Park, unsurprisingly, has rather exaggerated it. So the one from is it Jurassic World, it's like twice the size it should be. But some of these things were still like, you know, 15, 20 meters. But yeah, some of them are absolutely giant. We, we had one dug up in the UK just a couple of years ago, and I got to see the skull of it, or a cast of the skull. And yeah, it's about the same size as a T-Rex skull. 